Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be making a green seasoning. The people in the Caribbean, they flavor their meats, they fish with the green seasoning. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make the green seasoning and all what's required. And um, today we are gonna uh, cook and marinate this sword fish. We're gonna have this for lunch. This is a sword fish and this is what I'm gonna use the green seasoning on. So. I'm going to show you all the things that you would need. You would need some um, parsley. This is flat leaf parsley. And then you will also need some fresh thyme. You will also need some uh, cilantro. This is cilantro. You will also need some garlic cloves. I like a lot of garlic, so I have quite a few. But you can put as much as you want in. I'm making a big batch. Then you will need one onion. You will also need some fresh ginger, but I'm out of the fresh, so I'm going to use some ground ginger, a tablespoon of brown ginger. And also you will need uh, some habanero pepper or spicy pepper. Then you will need one bell pepper. You will need a lime and a half a cup of olive oil. And we also have some celery. These are the things that you would need to make uh, the green seasoning. So what you do is, let's blend it all together. We're gonna get it all good and blended. Everything has been washed and cleaned. So I'm gonna put a little bit of time in our blender. the rest of our spices in, some garlic, okay, then we'll put the rest of our olive oil in, put the rest of your oil in, and put the ginger in, and I'm going to put a tablespoon of salt, put a tablespoon of salt in, Add a bit of water. Check the consistency. Make sure everything is blended up. You're looking really, really good. See? It's all blended up. This is the green sauce that we have, all right? So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some of our sauce on top of the sword fish, and you need to let it marinate for about good 15, 20 minutes. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let this marinate, and when I come back, I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator, let it marinate 20 minutes, you know, so it'll be nice and flavorful. That's what you want your meat to be nice and flavorful. 
you can you can put this on chicken pork beef fish any type of uh seasonings that you like it give it really really good flavor and when i come back i'm gonna uh, pan sear this uh swordfish and we'll show you what it's looking like Cause it lasts us about a good month so i'm gonna take the rest of my marinade mix my green seasoning and i'm gonna store it in a jar inside the refrigerator so when we come back we're gonna pan sear our swordfish and then we're gonna have lunch all right all right everyone we're back and we have our swordfish out of the refrigerator so now it's time to get started cool let's get it down a little bit Put some oil in your pan. It's nice and hot. So what you want to do is put your swordfish pieces in. And what we're going to do is we're going to cook them on each side for like four and a half minutes. So we're going to turn them after they get like four and a half minutes on each side. Swordfish is a thick fish. So, you know, um, I cook it like four and a half minutes on each side, but I do cover it because the fish is kind of thick and we like our fish cooked all the way through. But if you don't want to cook your fish through, uh, all you have to do is you don't have to put the lid on top. I'm going to put the lid on top because I want my fish to be cooked very, you know, well, well done. Like I said, it's a thick fish. What I have here is uh, the marinade, the uh, green marinade. Every time I cook, if I want to marinate some meats or something, this is my go-to. So I keep this stored inside the refrigerator. And what we're gonna do with the swordfish when it almost get done, we're gonna take some butter and we're gonna take our uh, the rest of our uh, marinade and we're gonna cook that in with it. Very very flavorful. And see the consistency of the swordfish. See it? We turned it over. And I'm gonna let it cook additional four minutes, four and a half minutes on this side. And then we're gonna put some more of our marinade and some butter on it. So we'll come back. All right, everybody, let's check our swordfish. It is done. Add some butter to it and some more of our green seasoning as a garnishment. This is cooking add on top so it won't be dried out. Nice and seared swordfish. It's very, very flavorful. Show y'all our fish. See our fish a little bit close. Good and flavorful. See our swordfish? Nice and cooked. Butter all melted. Mm -hmm. 
And that's our lunch. I would like to conclude this video with a prayer. Heavenly Father, you are holy and worthy to be praised. Blessed are those who receive your divine guidance and interventions. Thank you, Holy. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for the Holy Spirit. Thank you for our Savior, Jesus Christ, and the legion of angels that watch over us. In Jesus' name, amen. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.